in reality, uh, we're going to take a trip on the Fairview Belt Lines. Now, the Fairview Belt Lines, and this picture is taken at Broadway in Maine, and this car is, has just turned off eastbound Broadway to northbound Maine, and is coming down to 7th and Maine. The Belt Lines were very old lines, and uh, operated via Broadway, Maine, Hastings, Granville Broadway in both directions. And so they were known as the inner and outer belt lines. Um, this scene is on the outer belt line as we we're traveling northbound on Main Street down towards First Avenue. They were extremely busy lines and uh, probably the busiest portion was on the section along Broadway between Main and Granville Street. And uh, of course in subsequent years with the revision of the trolley coach or introduction of the trolley coach lines, the Broadway Crosstown line was introduced which eliminated the transfers that people were required to make at Main Street and at Granville. Um, so both Main and Granville were very busy points on this line. These sections along Main Street and Hastings were not as busy as the portion along Broadway. We're continuing north on Main Street, just passing uh, what was now the Main Street or uh, Science Center Station on SkyTrain, and the Via Terminal would be to our right. And coming up to Prior Street, and uh, of course Prior Street has great significance in that this is where Prior car barns were, uh, where many of the Vancouver streetcars were housed, and you can see Prior Barns just to the left there. And the old Cobalt, Cobalt Hotel is um, just to the left. And um, now, today, the Greyhound bus lines have a garage and maintenance center on the site of the old prior car barns. We're coming north on Main Street, uh, overtaking a Pacific Stage Lines um, um, intercity bus. And of course, the Brill trolley coaches are in evidence. These pictures. Uh, having been taken during the period when the system was uh, undergoing changeover from uh, streetcars to trolley coaches and, and buses. A PCC car making an unusual turn at Main and Hastings, uh, having probably come from prior barns and going into service on Hastings Street and turning north on Hastings. And as was uh, commented on earlier in the tape by Frank, uh, when he was relating to the Central Park line, the intersection at Main and Hastings was called a Grand Union, uh, and all directions could be made uh, by streetcars and interurbans, uh, the only Grand Union on the system in Vancouver. Main and Hastings was a, a major point on the system. There were always uh, traffic inspectors, um, at that point regulating the cars and now we've made a turn onto Hastings coming down towards Columbia. You can see the Carroll Street Interurban Depot and the head offices of the BC Electric Company just to the left. We have a trolley coach crossing in front of us on Columbia Street and then again coming to the um, Interurban Depot at Carroll Street. You can see the neon sign Interurban Train Depot just on the left. Now this is looking the other way from the Interurban Depot East on Hastings Street. Proceeding west on Hastings, we're passing Woodward's, uh, so that hasn't changed. Woodward's is still here, and also the Cenotaph at Victory Square as we're coming up towards Canby Street. Note the safety zones in the street. The, um, Streetcars had one disadvantage, of course, and that passengers had to come out into the middle of the street to board, and uh, the boarding areas were marked by safety zones so that automobiles would steer around these and keep passengers protected. We see a mixture on this street of uh, PCC cars, some of the uh, one-man steel cars, um, uh, which were in different assignment, route assignments, uh, during the latter days of the street railway operation. The PCC cars originally were assigned to the Victoria and the Joyce lines, 
and operated on those as well as the Kitsilano line exclusively. But in the latter days, they were assigned to the Hastings East and the Grandview lines after those earlier routes had been converted. So we're now on Hastings Street um, at Granville, and uh, now see one of the Fairview cars turning from Hastings to southbound Granville, and followed by a Kitsilano PCC car. This now, of course, is a transit mall. The Granville Mall extends from Hastings right through to Nelson Street and is dedicated to uh, uh, We are back on um, Hastings Street um, on the Fairview Outer Line and uh, we seem to have picked up the footage again at Granville and Hastings. I think I made an earlier comment of of this scene, so we have a repeat here. Southbound on Granville, again on the section that is now the Granville Transit Mall. You'll note uh, this is Dunsmuir Street, and note all the storefront um, in evidence, of course, this is now uh, the Pacific Mall, and uh, there are very few storefronts uh, in place. This is uh, Georgia Street uh, with Hudson's Bay store in the background. And coming to Robson Street. There seems to be a gap in the streetcar service at this point, uh, which was rather unusual because the um, transit ridership was very high on the system just after the war, or particularly during the war, and most lines had very close headways. I might comment on some of the cars we're seeing. That uh, streetcar coming towards us is one of the Narragansett types, which were built um, by the BC Electric in their new Westminster shops. Um, and were remodeled. They formerly had a deck roof, and you'll see this car has an arch roof, and these cars were uh, quite radically rebuilt and equipped with leather seats and uh, done very attractively because the system was in need of renovation, and prior to the war there was an extensive program of rebuilding of the old cars. Uh, really no improvement in the technology of the cars, but a matter of providing new bodies and more comfortable seats and uh, more attractive lighting, etc., which carried the system through the war years and into the post-war period, at which time the decision was made to abandon the rail system and uh, convert to trolley coach and buses. Now coming on to Granville Bridge, the old Granville Bridge at Pacific and Granville, and heading southbound on the bridge, and shortly we'll go through the swing span. And already the trolley coaches are sharing the overhead with the streetcars on Granville Bridge. Minimal traffic on the bridge, but the cars, of course, were not in the numbers that they are today. And, uh, Transit was still the major way to get around the city, and of course still is uh, in many instances, but car ownership wasn't nearly what it is today. We're keeping pace with some of the Brill trolleys. You note the BC Electric insignia on the trolley coaches, because this was still in the period of BC Electric. Approaching 4th Avenue and Granville at the south end of the bridge. And then going south from 4th Avenue up the hill to, to Broadway. Now we're on the, still on the outer belt line, of course. 
You know, the old cars, they had very large uh, number boxes on the front, and the numbers were very easy to distinguish. And uh, in comparison, when you look at the trolley coaches that we've seen in the picture, the numbers were much smaller because of the design of the vehicles, and uh, it wasn't as easy to identify the the number, the route number of the vehicle as it was in the old streetcar days. Rounding the curve from southbound Granville to eastbound Broadway. And this was a timing point on the line. Um, sometimes the cars would sit here for one or two minutes making up their departure time. And now heading east um, towards the next transfer point which will be Oak Street. Passing a Fairview Inner. One of the Narragansett rebuilt cars on the Fairview Inner. And here's our Fairview outer coming along. Again, this is one of the uh, rebuilt Narragansett cars with the bulging sides, which was characteristic of that particular group of cars. Hard to imagine that this is Broadway when one sees the volume of traffic on that street today. As I make this uh, commentary, of course, it's August of 1990. These pictures were taken probably in the early 1950s, so we're looking back about at least 40 years. Uh, Oak Street. Fairview Inner. This was one of the Brill cars uh, that came towards us, and they too were rebuilt and modernized. And this is a Brill car pictured here. It looks as though it's just come out of the shops. Um, there was a regular repainting program, and uh, it was easy to identify the cars that had come out of the shop. They would come out glistening and stay that way for a few months and then gradually get rather grimy looking until they were again put in the paint shop. All that type of work was done at the Kitsilina shops at the south end of Burrard Bridge. I think that particular car is 391, but I can't tell for sure. Now we've passed Canby Street and are heading east along Broadway, past uh, Columbia and Manitoba Streets, etc. Uh, up the grade towards Main Street. You note the rather poor condition of the street. The, um, a lot of the pavement in between the car tracks was um, rather poor where it had been uprooted for repairing of the tracks. And uh, in many cases, there were wooden blocks or concrete blocks or bricks between the tracks and made for rather rough operation of automobiles. Um, coming up towards Main Street, you can see the Lee Building, which is still at Broadway and Main. And there seems to be a lot of track repair work, uh, judging by the patches in the, in the pavement on either side of the rails. and approaching Broadway and Maine. Now this picture of course shows a trolley coach